We're at the London UX conference, and here in the UK, the cars drive on the left side of the street, whereas in most of the rest of Europe and the rest of the world, the cars drive on the right side of the street. Now, there's no inherent reason it's better to drive on the right or better to drive on the left. Just pick one and do it everywhere. That's the old usability principle of consistency. But since they don't do that, it's really a grave danger when you go to a country and they drive on the, other, the wrong side of the street. Because when you're a pedestrian you're trying to cross the street, you're just used to looking in, in the other, the wrong direction, and therefore you may well be run over. Now, luckily they recognize that here in London, and so they've actually painted on in the intersections an arrow that says, look left or look right or whatever it may, may be. I'm sure that design has saved a lot of lives over the years. So this is a great example of just-in-time help, which is a little message that you get right in the situation where you need that information. This is in great contrast to most other type of health information, where users have mainly recognized over the years that help doesn't. Most help does not really help you, it's just a waste, it's a waste of time. And users don't go and read online documentation, manuals. There's no such thing as a, as a manual for a website. But just-in-time help is in fact helpful. So if you can find those situations where users are going to be confused about something or need to know a little bit more about something because they, before they can continue, right there you can put the help information. And that's something people will in fact uh, read, at least if, it, if it's written properly. But that's something that people will read and use and that will be helpful. So just-in-time help, just like at the London uh, intersections.